Hey everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you what I got in the BoxyCharm premium box for the month of May. So the verdict is still kind of out on this one. I'm not really sure how I'm feeling about this box, but I'm just gonna show y'all what I got. Maybe show y'all a couple of swatches and show you what I'm wearing on my face today. But before we get into that, if this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Sonia Nicole, and I really hope you'll consider subscribing today. And if you are a returning visitor, welcome back. I'm so glad to have you. Let's get on with the video. All right, so a couple of things before we get started with the product. So there was some sort of issue with the little cards that they usually send us in the box. So not everyone is going to get a card and I did not get one uh, this month. So I don't have the card to show you or read off some of the information about some of the products. So I'm going to be going off of the website for some of that information. And also, I'm not able to tell you what the weight of my box is. So I've been looking online like where I would normally get that information and I don't know if I'm just like overlooking it or what but I just don't see the weight of my box so I apologize because I know sometimes when I do um, BoxyCharm videos a lot of y'all will ask me what the weight is and I just can't give you that this month I apologize but for those of you who did not get your box yet I feel like some of the stuff that I'm going to show you today will give you some clues on what you're going to be getting in your box so I hope that's going to be helpful so let's get into the products and I will tell you as I go through what I do and what I don't have on my face for today I'm going to start with a couple of skincare products so these first two products I don't have them on my face today the first one is the skin and co truffle therapy PI treatment so this is what the product looks like I feel like this is our maybe um, second or third product from skin and co I'm sorry it's called an eye concentrate this one retails for $66 and I'm not wearing this today because it is skincare oh goodness so I'll be trying it tonight that's what the actual product is looking like and I'm just gonna put just a little bit on the back of my hand so we can see how it blends out it feels really nice and creamy on the back of my hand so let me read a little bit about what this is supposed to do so this is supposed to minimize the appearance of fine lines wrinkles and reveal toned radiant and healthy looking skin it's supposed to hydrate and nourish the delicate eye area as well as tighten and smooth for a more youthful appearance so again truffle therapy eye concentrate and this one retails for 66 dollars so that is product number one okay next up is the pure heels by nature village centella 90 amapole and i may not be pronouncing that correctly but this is what the packaging looks like so this is a serum and it's supposed to relieve irritation of sensitive skin and strengthen the skin barrier and it has a couple of um, key ingredients in here which i'll pop up on the screen because I'm gonna chop it all up if I try to say it. But um, again, this is Pure Heels by Nature Village. And I'm not seeing the cost of this on BoxyCharm's website. And I'm also looking on, I'm just Googling it and I don't see anything. So I do see it listed on Amazon for $28, but if anybody got this in their box and you got the card for this month's box, let me know what they're saying this retails for, but I can't find that information on um, BoxyCharm's website. So those are the two skincare products that I got that I haven't tried out yet. I'm going to try both of them out for the first time tonight. So moving on to some of the other, well, I guess this next product is also skincare. So this is the Tarte Best Bud Sugar Rush lip butter balm so this is what the packaging looks like I do think that's really cute it has like the little flower on the top and let me show you what it looks like I did put some of this on before I started my makeup so right now my favorite lip butter is uh, from Burt's Bees and I've only had this on my lips for maybe like maybe like an hour but this one on contact it felt a lot better it felt like more almost more whipped and more smooth than my Burt's Bees one it didn't feel like quite as waxy I guess this one has like a very faint almost like a 
I don't know, like a sugary or like a candy type smell, but it's very faint. So like if you're sensitive to scents like I am, I don't think that this would bother you. It has like a very pleasant, like subtle sugary scent. And on top of that, it feels very comfortable on the lips. I do have another product on top of my lips, but I'll get to that in a little bit. But like I said, I had this on my lips for about um, an hour or so, and I like the way it feels so far. So I'm gonna, um, when I take my makeup off and wash my face, I'm gonna put this back on my lips for tonight and sleep with it to see how my lips feel in the morning. And again, I'm not seeing a price on BoxyCharm site. So per Tarte's website, this retails for $12. Okay, so next up is a variation product. So some of us got this palette. This is the Too Faced Natural Eyes Neutral Eyeshadow Palette and some of us got the Kevin O'Quan Mascara. So I really didn't care like which one I got between the two of these because I felt like either of those products I was gonna like and get a lot of use out of them. However, I did use this Too Faced palette for the video today. So I'll zoom you in so you can see what my eyes are looking like. This is what I have on my eyes right now. And I am sorry to say that I did not like this palette. Like I was so surprised because it's Too Faced and usually I love their eyeshadows, but this this palette I just did not like it so this is what it looks like I think the color scheme is nice I think it's just nice and neutral and just basic and I thought this would have been like a really nice like everyday type of palette but I the, the shadows I just I didn't like them. So let me show you a Too Faced palette that I really love. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Bon Bons palette. And this is like my favorite like everyday go-to palette. I actually haven't used this in a very long time, but I still feel like it's the most used palette out of all the ones that I own. So a lot of the mattes in this one, they reminded me of a lot of the mattes in here. So for instance, on my lid, you won't be able to see it, but on my lid, I had the, the shade Cleavage. I wanted that to be like my base lid color today because this shadow here, it reminds me very much of the shade Almond Truffle here. So yes, they're a little different, but they're so reminiscent to me. So, and this is the one that I use a lot. I'll just slap this like all over my lid and just go. This one here, uh, Cleavage, I had to put it on like four times for it to be like even like subtly noticeable on my lid. So I decided to go on top of it with Risky Biz, this one here. So that's why the color on my lid, it doesn't look quite as dark as this because it's really the two of them um, layered on top of one another. But I mean, I feel like my eyes, they look okay, but I feel like the eyeshadow was like, it was like patching up as I was blending them out. I just... I just didn't enjoy like using this palette today. So anyway, just so you'll know, I have these two shades on my lid and then I took these two shades mixed to like put it in my um, outer corner and then the brown shade by itself. I use that to like buff out the entire look. And I also have a little bit of the brown on my lower lash line, but I just felt like I was working like really hard to get these shadows to blend out the way they should. And I was just shocked because it's a Too Faced palette. So I don't know if I got like a dud or something like that. I don't remember watching any like reviews or anything when this one first came out, but I don't know. I just figured because it was Too Faced that I was gonna like it and I was gonna know how the shadows were gonna perform, but unfortunately I did not like this. So with that being said, now I really wish that I had gotten the Kevin Aquan mascara because I don't think I'm gonna be picking this up anymore. So to me, this was just like a dud in the box this month. But anyway, in case you're interested, this one does retail for uh, $38. So the next product we have is the Milk Make a Glow Oil for Lips and Cheeks. So that's what this looks like. And I believe we got different colors, different shades in this. And I got the shade Glimmer. So I'm gonna show y'all what that looks like. Okay, so it's a little broken because 
Um, I took the little plastic cap off and then put it back on, but that's what the shade looks like. I'm hoping that y'all can see that I do have it on my cheeks and I feel like I would never pick something up like this for my cheeks. Like I would always go for something that is powdery and preferably matte. I do have a couple of blushes that have like a little bit of sheen or a little bit of glow in it, but usually I like a matte powder uh, blush. So I would never pick anything up like this for the cheeks. But now that I'm wearing it, I do think it's okay, but I feel like I would reserve it for days where I'm not wearing like a full face of makeup. I feel like something like this, you could just throw on your cheeks if you're not wearing any other makeup and it'll just give you like a nice subtle flush of color. And this is making me rethink not buying some of the, um, the new Fenty cream blushes because I just have to be honest, I just don't know why anybody will want like a cream blush like I, that just doesn't sit well with me but after trying this out I don't think it's all that bad I was like a little intimidated trying to put it on so I just picked it up on a brush so I just went like this on my brush and then just patted it on my cheek so I do think it gives you like a nice subtle sheen a nice subtle glow and just like a small subtle flush of color so I did like it on the cheeks and then I also used I picked up some on my finger and I dabbed it on my lips now I do still have the lip butter on my lips too. I didn't think to wipe the lip butter off before I put this one on, but I'm hoping that you can see that I do have like a nice little sheen going on and just like a little soft pop of color on my lips. So that's this. And I like this for the lips too. I feel like I could use it for either one. I feel like though, I'm probably just gonna use this for the lips because it'll just be easy to just rub it on the lips and call it a day. I don't wanna like rub it on the lips and rub it on my cheek. So I feel like I'm just gonna be using this on the lips and that's it. But if you're interested, like I do feel like it looks really nice on the cheek and I feel like it would look even nicer if I didn't have a full face of makeup on. So I feel like, I hope that makes sense what I'm trying to say. But anyway, I did like this product and I feel like I am going to get some use out of that one. And then lastly, we got this brow pomade or I got this brow pomade in the box and I'm just going to show y'all what this one looks like. This is in the shade medium brown. So that's what that one looks like. It is like a nice chocolatey brown color, but I never use products like this, so I'm not even gonna tap into it. But in case you're interested, this was my last product in my box. And this one retails for $20 on, I think this is on the Sephora, yeah, on the Sephora website. This one costs $20. So that's all the stuff that I got in my box. And so far, these two are my favorite products, the lip butter and the lip and cheek stain or cheek oil, lip and cheek oil, right? Yes, lip and cheek oil. So these are my two favorite products so far. However, I haven't used these two. So I don't, I'm really curious about this. It just seems like it would be nice and luxurious on the eyes, but we'll see. So the reason I'm not sure like how I feel about this box is because I did watch a couple of other unboxings and the, the few videos that I watched, nobody got the variation that I got out of the videos that I watched so far. So I feel like um, the variations that I saw were just a lot better than what I got. I'm very shocked again at this palette that I didn't like it because I feel like if I liked this, that would have just taken care of me like in the whole box. So I know a while back, BoxyCharm started putting some skincare products into their boxes and I think that was because the customers kept asking for that and I actually like getting a mix of makeup and skincare in my boxes but I just feel like this box in particular to me this was like more skincare and hardly any makeup like really the only product that I would consider makeup is this and the brow pomade and just for me personally I know I'm not even going to open this up and then again I don't like this palette at all so I feel like I mean I don't know how y'all feel about this but I guess because I plan on using it on my lips I, I mean to me this is more like skincare than makeup for me but just in general like I feel like this box was more skincare than makeup. It wasn't 50-50 and I just feel like I wanted more makeup, you know, in the boxes. But that might also be because I'm comparing it to some of the other variations that I saw. Like I was kind of disappointed when I first opened the box because I'm like out of all the variations that I could have gotten, this is the one that I got. Like 
but you know to each his own so i don't really know how i feel about this like maybe i will use these two products and i'll just be blown away and I, i'll just change my mind about the whole box but for right now i'm just kind of like on the fence you know like i'm not super excited about this month for boxy charm premium so that is my thought <laughs> on the box let me know in the comments what variation you got did you get the same one that i got and if you did if you could let me know like what the weight is because um like i said i'm not able to share that with you this month so i feel like i rambled like crazy but anyway <laughs> i hope that this video was helpful especially to those of you who have not gotten their boxes yet for those of you who may be interested in signing up for boxycharm i'll make sure that i put a um, link in my description box so thank you all so much for watching in today's video i really hope you enjoyed it and i hope to see y'all back for my next one until then take care have a good one y'all bye